I've been researching swimming, the benefits of swimming, and it's been difficult for me to find a video that lasts more than about four minutes, and there is so many benefits. So I've done some research today of different websites, government websites, university websites, and even a United Kingdom, Scotland, Northern Ireland, website called the National Health Service uh, with a lot of good information. So let me start by explaining this picture. I do not know who this woman is. I wish I was as skilled as she is in the water and above the water. I've been carrying it around for many decades. I don't know if I got it from a magazine or a newspaper. Um, it just shows that no matter what your weight is, no matter what your age or your condition, you, you have some skills and you could develop these skills. So let me start first with saying about the circulation that swimming is a great way to improve your circulation because you are using all muscles in the body and the resistance of the water helps you to make an effort to use those muscles. You are buoyant in the water. You won't be hitting the ground like jogging out of the water. It increases your heart rate your circulation, your balance, and 90% of your body becomes buoyant. And the chance of overheating with this kind of exercise is very, very low because of the temperature of the water. It improves your flexibility, and it's a good rehabilitation for your muscles if you've been injured or overworked. It, this kind of exercise, swimming, also reduces your risk for chronic diseases such as diabetes, stroke, heart disease. I had a friend years ago, let me see, that was back in 2012. He was a few years older than me, and all he did was sit on his compu computer all night long, and then he would sleep in the daytime. All he ate was TV dinners, plus chocolate, and once a week he would take a long, leisurely stroll walking to a grocery store. That's it. I told him over and over, he needs to get out in the fresh air. His apartment complex had a magnificent pool, even a deep section that you could dive into. He also had a gym there near his apartment. He didn't listen, so a year or two later, he got a mini stroke. He did not take warning from it and change his lifestyle. So then he got a big stroke. He was able to get help. They took him to a residential living facility for older people. And little by little, he couldn't walk anymore. He cannot stand up. He sits all day. He sits on the computer all day. And now he has to sleep at night because they don't allow uh, people to change the hours of the facility he's in. And all his belongings and his apartment he had to leave. And his life is is like it's just sitting with the computer that's it anyway back to the benefits of exercise and swimming um, the National Health Service in England Scotland Wales North Ireland established 1948 this is what they said make swimming a habit avoid swimming alone in the community I live in, someone found a man floating 
face down in the pool. Um, he wasn't alive anymore. He had been swimming alone. Now, if someone had been there, maybe they're not a great uh, lifeguard type, but they, they could have called for help. So it's not a good idea to swim alone. Now, even, even swimming one day a week to start off, that will help you get in the habit. And having goals like losing weight um, and other health problems, making them better. Of course, you need to ask your doctor if this is okay. He will give you some guidelines how to start this. And it's always good to regularly have your blood pressure checked, your heart rate. And I don't know what else to say except you feel so good in water. It's, you know, we're made up of mostly water. Um, you're out in the fresh air. Hopefully you get to socialize a little with whoever else is in the pool or the ocean if you're blessed to live near the ocean. And remember this lady in this picture. Oh, I just noticed there's there's some print at the bottom of the picture. It says Pier House Hotel, Key West, 1972. Okay, now we know where this picture came from. Any questions, write me.